talking about the trench coat and leather sleeves. Leather is huge this season. You're seeing it in details. You're also seeing it on leather um, sleeve blazers, great utility jackets. I have a leather sleeve to like a, a sweat top kind of thing. See, yeah. everyone's doing that. So now we're going to look at Troyan Belisario. So she is in Pretty Little Liar. So she, here she is with her trench coat and it has oh, that's leather really cute. sleeves. Super cute. Also kind of pricey. So I thought, you know what? Everyone has a pleather jacket sitting in their closet that they can And maybe if you don't, you can buy it super cheap down to H. And M or Under Urban 25 Outfitters, bucks, exactly. Anywhere, Target, Target. Target, yeah. all of those places you can get them. And pleather looks really good now, so get a pleather one. And it's, you know, politically correct. Absolutely. I yes. love that. So then if you have a trench coat sitting in your closet, what you can do is actually cut off the sleeves. And the easiest way to do that is you want to turn the coat inside out. And then you have to cut the lining because once you cut the lining, you can actually see the seams on the inside of the jacket. Gotcha. So I've already cut one sleeve off here, and I did that with a seam ripper. You don't want to use scissors to do this. So what you do is you find the seam, go all along the seam with the seam ripper. So I'm just going to finish this off right here. Super easy. And then once it's finished, this comes off. So this is your sleeve. You can turn it inside out, backside in, and then just go along with scissors to trim any of the extra threads. The little bits of thread. Yeah, little yeah. bits of thread. <clears throat> and then I like this idea so much that I'm going to steal it for myself. So I'm going to try this on and show you how you combine the trench top. You clever little monkey. I know. With the leather jacket. Help me read. The collar. There we go. And then pull it around. And how adorable is that? That and is adorable. A lot of women like perfectly seamed edges. I don't care. I think it kind of plays to the leather look. So if you it's want really this, hip. you can take it to a tailor and ask them to turn down the edge. That's exactly what you and need to say it. to finish it perfectly. <clears throat> but I think for you. it looks cool like that. I think it looks really cool. It's, and it's really so easy to do. Love it. Love okay, it. So okay, we, last one. Last but not least. We are talking toggles. So we saw a picture of Amanda Peet, also on a red carpet, in a beautiful ivory coat, had these great toggle details. And I love toggles because Jeez. to me they read very expensive. And I'm the cheap chica. I'm all about lux for less. So toggles is one way to do that. So what you can do is you can head to a fabric store and buy these. I found these toggles. These are a faux suede, so they're really inexpensive. $3.98 for the set. So for $16, I've completely transformed this cream coat here. So it is totally plain. And I want to point out, the only thing that's really important is that it can't have actual functioning buttons because that would create buttonholes down the center. So you so need snaps. You need snaps like this or hidden buttons so you can actually set the toggles correctly. Space them out. You can mark them with pins. And then you just want to do three easy stitches, two on the corner, one on the center, and you add four, and voila, you have functioning toggles right here. And we're right going to put this coat on Jennifer. Where's Jennifer? Yeah. Another cutie. So cute. Let's undo that one. Snap it open. There you go. Pop it Okay, on. let's try this. Very cute. Adorable. Adorable. And then how cute is that? And then we'll just toggle this one. Toggle that one. And then you are like...